All right, a second conviction tonight in a bizarre case of a woman taking over a home that wasn't hers. But prosecutors say the brazen crime didn't end when the squatters were discovered. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell live tonight in Sheltonham with what happened next. Brad. Yeah, it's hard to believe, but when the rightful homeowner of this house discovered their squatters were in here and tried to get them evicted, the squatter actually sued. Well, this saga all began about three years ago when the homeowner got transferred to California. The house quickly started to look like this, a house that's headed for foreclosure. The long grass landscaping is gone, no trespassing signs. It's exactly the sort of home that this house predator was looking for. It's a big house in a nice community, and Kiana Johnson made herself right at home. She even threw a cookout for her new neighbors when she moved in. She's been there for a while, and then, like, no one knew it. What nobody knew was that Johnson was a squatter, all part of an elaborate scheme orchestrated by real estate agent Shannon Lee, along with Johnson. Lee was convicted in August. The pair targeted more than 20 homes going to foreclosure. One was sold, others rented. Johnson decided to make this one her own. I think it's crazy. Now, Johnson and her co-conspirator, Shannon Lee, were literally able to steal the house by entering a falsified deed at the county administration building that said they bought it for $150,000. And to this day, if you search Maryland property tax records, it shows Kiana Johnson as the owner. I've never seen anything like it before in my years in law enforcement. Prince George's County Police Lieutenant Charles Dooley made the case against Johnson. He says her forged documents were easy to spot. Victims' names were misspelled. Uh, cities were misspelled. There, there, were just, there were some mistakes as we went through the documents that we were able to pick out. Johnson was dragged out of the stolen home in handcuffs last fall and convicted last Thursday. We knocked at a more recent address. Nobody answered. State's attorney Angela also Brooks says it's likely Johnson's next home will be behind bars. So even though there was some temporary gain, the point of the story is it never pays. Well, Johnson will be sentenced in March. She faces a maximum of 69 years for what happened here. But we're told that she and Lee likely face many additional charges for crimes involving other houses as well. In Cheltenham, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News. Okay, Brad, thank you.